Delegates to the South Pacific Forum will consider the Bougainville peace process and examine ways to move it forward. The peacekeeping force proposal is being canvassed at the Forum and New Zealand's support would be crucial. <coughs> We've got women there as well. Just a few years ago, these BRA rebels were easy pickings for the PNG Navy. Runs like this between the Solomons and Bougainville were furtive affairs made under the cover of night. Today, they have a virtual navy of their own. They fly their own flag and they're heavily armed. Militarily, the BRA have never been stronger, but now they're ready to lay down their guns. Peace on Bougainville has never been closer. This is, uh, we're going into final run to Bougainville now. Tony Ravio is a captain in the coastal unit of the BRA. For the past eight years, he's fought a professional army from Papua New Guinea, armed with little more than captured weapons, homemade shotguns, and relics from the Second World War. Ghana, 50 Kaliwa, we have been killing them boy. Long, balus long. Second World War. We must have long, boss long boy. Now, Kisim Kamia, killing him long. Hello, walk so long here now, I mean walk. I'm blowing Japan, eh? Yeah. For the first time since this war began and countless lives lost, there's a chance that Tony's fighting days will come to an end. Hello, hello, welcome on board Long Radio Free Bougainville, one time up on the radio friends of Cowboy. Today, news is filtering through of the peace talks being held at Burnham in New Zealand, the most significant meeting ever held between the PNG government and the BRA. Agreement they must come up long all for plus something talk talk long this far talk talk long withdrawal talk talk long um peacekeeping forces must come up for the first time all the options are on the table and all the major players are there all except one the bra's leader and founding father francis arno <laughs> From the beginning of the war, Ona has been the BRA's hardline commander, and today is no different. He's totally rejected the overtures of peace that the New Zealand talks offered, but remarkably, almost his entire senior command have left him behind and gone to the talks. It appears that he's being sidelined, but Ona is undoubtedly still powerful enough to derail the whole peace process. Local chief, Jacob Quasier, has been a supporter of the War of Independence since Francis Ona first launched his uprisings. But for him, the time has now come for the fighting to end. The support of chiefs like Jacob has been vital to the BRA. Like other guerrilla wars, it's been the villagers who fed and supplied the soldiers, and it's been the villagers who've borne the brunt of the PNG army's attacks. Jacob's sister Grace has seen the worst of the war. Grace has seen her clan destroyed. Many of the young girls have fled Bougainville, the boys have all joined the BRA, and her backyard has become a battleground. Time 
The locals now call Bougainville the island of sorrow. There is a war weariness here, affecting everyone it seems, except Francis Ona. Francis Ona has been negative from, from the day that we, 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 we signed the first Burnham Declaration. And he still maintains his, uh, his, uh, his uh, dislike. Now, uh, I mean, he has his own way, but I believe people's power is more important. Andrew Mariki is a communications minister in the rebel government. Like other Bougainvilleans, he's been a long-time supporter of Francis Ona, but today he senses a chance for peace. After two weeks at the Burnham talks, the BRA's senior command have come home. So far only snippets of news about the talks have filtered onto the island, and no one here could have expected the full extent of the deal that's been struck. The UN will send a peacekeeping force and Papua New Guinea will withdraw on the sole condition that the BRA observe a total ceasefire. Just a few years ago, only Francis Ona could have made a commitment like this. Today, things have clearly changed. Immediately upon returning from Burnham, the BRA's most senior general, Sam Kaona, sends the message out to his troops to lay down their arms. He hasn't conferred with Ona, and it now seems that it's the BRA soldiers who are committed to making the ceasefire hold, not the BRA leader. Lead is on our side. You we must lead now. After Long Benham talks, we've been talked of one time more sample senior, uh, senior officials from all various governments. Now, one them feeling me got now, all you walk long put him, all get a thin thing, all get a hope, long show in Bogan Bill War, long side blow me plan. But one time, so long you plow together, right across the island, from Island Buka to the tip of Bob Win, all the commanders now you go so much in Bougainville. Emino one blood rascal island, Emino one blood rascal movement. This is a revolution. Emino rascal revolution. Emi political revolution for a change for Bougainville. To Sam Kawana, the Burnham talks offer the best chance that the BRA have ever had to end the war, and he's determined to stick with the deal. Francis uh, take, take, takes the ex extreme. Of course, he has taken the, the extreme from day one. He is still our, our leader. He is still our president, uh, and that's the fact. Um, however, the people we left to decide after after we go through the peace process, the people themselves will have to decide when, you know, democratic process takes place. Interim government, go ahead. Blessing is that. The men in this room form the backbone of the war on Bougainville. Every senior commander of the BRA is here, and everyone is talking peace. Where by you set up, one in time by kick up, people are come back to you. You look him, you talk all right, people are go forward. It's the kind of news that Joe Kabui, politician and former Premier of Bougainville, has waited years to hear. We talked to one time, that to my surprise, New Zealand High Commissioner, and we come, and we come kiss him phone, and I'm talking to him, Joe, you know what? We are celebrating victory. Glassim, I talk to him, the mission was a victory, and it means a lot. Let me thank him, you on behalf of people of Bougainville. Whether Francis Ona knows it or not, the peace process has developed a momentum of its own. We want to go this way. People are saying that. We want to go this way. This is the road we want to follow. Please listen to us. That is the important message that they're giving to President Mr. Francis Ona. It's market day at Kieta on the central coast. It's the biggest event of the week for all the villagers for miles around. And the BRA are here to spread the message of the talks. Now you may see market pull up, or line will come, roti up, and you want to do not plus I too. Buka, south, and you want kind now. 
just because of this lapepa. All your gong, but King Paul King King Long just now. Agreement people are working now. So please, commanders, explain him to all people why this law roadblock will be established here now. Thank you. Thank you, Pita. I think we've been talking to the students, but I think Pita has been to camp late, 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 late. Roadblock, I'm in a roadblock. I'm in a roadblock. He seemed good. Time to look at all the soldiers, I'm in a roadblock. I'm in a roadblock. This town is the front line of the war on Bougainville. A large garrison of PNG troops is stationed just 10 miles up the road. Under the terms of the truce, it's vital that there are no BRA attacks for the next 60 days. Be careful. But suppose one play bridge him, and we got low here, and got low close fight. You bridge him, you down him side below you. After years of endless fighting and dashed hopes, the coming months offer the best chance that the BRA have ever had to end the war, and it seems they are taking no chances. Rumours are circulating in the coastal areas that Francis Ona is being deliberately isolated in his mountain stronghold. I've even been told that his satellite phone was taken away from him, so that for the next 60 days he can make no comment or contact that could derail the truce. I'm travelling with Captain Ravio from the BRA Coastal Command as we move up towards Ona's mountain base in the centre of Bougainville. I wanted to get Francis Ona's response to the truce that his generals had signed. This is the Ona heartland, a remote area where cults, sorcery and suspicions prevail. It's where the first BRA uprisings began, and here, Ona's word is law. Sonny, one of Sonny. Sorry, Francis, I know stuff on that. No. Let me go where? Let me go down on him. What am I up here? Let me go on two Kongara. You think by one time by come back in? And you mean what's happening now? With all the talk of peace down on the coast, at first I thought it was unnecessary that Ravio carried a gun, but a different mood rules in owner country. Shots were fired over my head, and further up the track I was ambushed. Spiderman, give me! One of you, one of you. Give me a video! You Spiderman, bro, PNG! For the next three days, negotiations were held with owner's men to get my camera back. It was returned, but we could go no further. Let me work up through. For the first time in his career, it appears that owner is increasingly isolated from the rest of the BRA. The mood amongst the people immediately around him is paranoid and hostile. It remains to be seen whether they will abide a truce that they played no part in concluding. Down on the coast the mood is more positive, even though the wounds of the war are still fresh. Until just a few months ago, this was a well beaten path for Jacob. It was along this mountain track that he would lead his clan to escape the attacking PNGDF. But for fighters like Ravio, the peace process with the PNGDF in nearby Arawa has already begun. Last time he had him, you go long. I don't want to use check hand one time or something like PNGDF. You think they want him not just play him? Could plus somebody come up? I'm this time. Me play talk talk little little long. Way by me play. Look out him this. Look out him or respect him this play. A truce we all been signing finish. Or trip up. Warring parties or signing finish long, ban them. No, me pa talk talk leg leg long. How about me pa respecting this pa? Truce, when by start on 60 days. Hey, Chris. 
The longing for peace is clearly spreading along the coast and has created the apparent split between Francis Ona and the other BRA leaders. But it's not the first time that Ona has held out against the peace process and the last time his view did prevail. This time he does seem more isolated and the mood for peace stronger, but he remains an important wild card that can't yet be discounted. Right now I'm close to long finish. You think by him come up again or no gotcha? Oh, for sure, the boss will be put a stress in the set of height. We are not in the nap come up. Hey, since things start on boss in the set of ground. No!